Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're going to try Alme Sauvage by Kai's Perfume. So today, today's video will be a little bit different than usual. It will be in two parts and it will probably not be wearing the same clothes. And I will explain to you why in a few minutes. So I just got a little box from Kai's Perfume. And basically I ordered a perfume and I'm gonna do a little unboxing in the beginning of the video. And I'm gonna review the perfume after the unboxing. The, the thing is that I never tried it yet. I just got it. I was gonna record my video and I got mail and that's why uh, I'm doing the unboxing like that. Also, it's an independent perfumery, so I think it's worth an unboxing. So it came in a little brown box like this. And with little papers inside, I'm trying not to show my address. Here's a little paper, Kai's Perfumes. In the back it says, thank you, Benoit, enjoy. Timmy, which is the person that makes the perfume. There are a little bag like this with two sample. I think the bottle is really weird, but it's really nice to have two little samples like that for free. And I already, those one I have smelled them. There's jasmine macaron, which smell jasmine. It smells sweet also like desert. I'm gonna review it eventually. Those one, like the one in the box that I ordered, I will do as fast as I can. Well, I mean, right now, but the review from when I got it to where you're going to see it, the other one might take more time. And the other one, it's Vanny de Bosch. And this one, just like this, smells really good. It gives me a little bit... Uh, tobacco vibe like right now I, I smelled it and gives me a London vibe a little bit maybe Herod also something like that by Parfum de Marly that's the vibe it gives me but just like smelling this like that no cry or anything then box there's a little bag with the actual perfume that I wanted that is Homme Sauvage that's supposed to be extremely bold letter fragrance. Then that's it for the box. So some day have passed and I finally had the chance to try Am Sauvage. And so we're gonna try it now on paper. And you tell you this perfume, it's really simple. If you like complex fragrance, it's not for you. And it's not because it's simple that it's bad. It's and in fact, I think it's nice. So it doesn't mean anything complex or simple because there's bad complex fragrance. There's bad simple fragrance, good complex, good simple. It depends really of the fragrance itself. So what I get, I, on paper, I get some leather. I did only one spray on the paper. I don't think it smells super much. It smells like a sweet leather on paper, really. This, all, this is all I'm getting. I know the sweetness comes from vanilla, but I smell vanilla in the air, but on the paper, I don't pick it up. On my skin, what I get at first, it's really a strong vanilla and asphalt fragrance. They are kind of holding each other. And really the note of asphalt is, it's a rare note, but it's, it's still pleasing. It doesn't smell bad. It, it smells a little bit like, uh, not a little bit, but I mean, it's that's what it is. It smells like when they, they make the road when they're doing new uh, asphalt in summer. It has that little smell that it's there in the background. There's it's more, I would say it's more vanilla than asphalt, what I smell. And though the asphalt is really present, there's some leather that is there also in the background. I don't know what makes the asphalt note. It's probably an accord that it includes leather. And I get a little bit of uh, Immortel there, more in the dry down. Longevity of this fragrance is 
not really good. It's really bad. In fact, last an hour, two hours, it will be uh, will be weak. Won't last long. Projection is good. It's a closed bubble around you. But even so, even if it doesn't last really long, it's a nice it's a nice fragrance. It's really interesting, and the price is kind of it's kind of cheap for a little bottle like this. It's, it was like twenty five dollar. US and I got two samples and the note is interesting to analyze it, to smell it. It's definitely something I will wear again eventually. It can be a nice perfume to put before bed in the morning when you go to shower, just smell good for a short time. It's still a nice perfume, even though it doesn't last long. So for the complete note breakdown, there's, it's a really linear perfume. So there's only notes there. The notes are animalic notes, smoky vanilla, immortel, and asphalt. And where I would see this perfume, even though, you know, there's asphalt and leather and animalic notes, and that usually would be business-like notes, I don't think they are really, it's really a good business fragrance. For me, it's seduction fragrance. The vanilla is really there, really present. And the asphalt and the animalic note just give an edge. The immortel also, it's really sweet and seductive. It's the immortel, it's a flower, but it's almost not floral. And especially in that accord, it's, it doesn't make it a floral fragrance at all. It's more like an oriental fragrance. So as a dating fragrance could be nice, though it doesn't last long. It could be a nice fragrance for like short date, something that won't last, uh, like going just for lunch, going for a dinner, something like that. I mean, this perfume lasts so little that I don't think it will be good for an everyday use fragrance. The bottle is kind of small, so, and it's cheap. So technically you could buy a big bottle and put the small one in your pocket and reapply it during the day. Could be an idea, but I don't think it's, so much the smell also of a everyday fragrance. Wouldn't be a good fragrance for summer. The smell is really like, it's it's not summery at all. It's thick, it's sweet, it, it's not for summer. And the projection is a bit there and I would assume in summer it will probably project even more and not be really nice. It wouldn't be terrible, but it wouldn't be like the best for summer. And for winter, I don't think it will be that good neither the projection isn't there so much uh, it's there it's present but i mean it wouldn't cut through the cold so it will be more of a dating fragrance or a little something that you put maybe at the end of the day or for a short event that you want to smell good that's pretty much where i would see it so i hope you enjoyed this video if it's the case we'll like and share if you tried any other fragrance by Kai's Perfumes, tell me which one you tried and which one, if you liked it or not. So hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon.